very special back in the block, I got to sit down with the true New York icon. Before there was Leno, before there was Letterman, before there was even Johnny, there was Joe. He invented the talk show. He's done over a half a million interviews. So here he is, the wizard of was, the king of nostalgia, the one and only Joe Franklin. Nice surprise, how are you? Hi Joe, how you doing? Terrific. We're sitting here in Hell's Kitchen, but you started out in the Bronx. Uh, about 19, between 29 and 31. <laughs> and when I, when I broke into Radio Hank, I looked about nine years old, so I made myself uh, 15 for the sake of the right. biographer. So in some books, it's written 1926, 29. Right. I was born 1931. When you were a kid in, in Bronx, did you ever think you'd be doing that? No, I just got sidetracked. I was supposed to have a date one day with a young receptionist at WNEW, and who walks out into the hallway, a man named Martin Block. You hear the program called the Make Believe Ballroom, most popular program in the history of radio, Make Believe Ballroom. And he said, what are you doing here, kid? I said, I said I'm here to have a cup of coffee with Maureen, with the receptionist. He said, he said, you know, I just lost my record picker. You want a job? I couldn't believe it, but there's the biggest man in the world over, in the show business world offering me a job, and I never stopped working. I never went back to Columbia, I never graduated college. I've got uh, an old wind-up phonograph that I play, only 78s. I still work with the uh, carbon paper, mimeograph machine, uh, the telephone is rotary. I'm a dinosaur. And you were, you're in the Guinness Book of World Records, of world, course. Longest running TV longest talk running show. Longest running TV talk show. You invented the genre. Johnny Carson used to say that Joe was waiting for, Joe was waiting for the Marconi to invent the tube. That's what he said. <laughs> Over 500,000 interviews. I read that there was, uh, uh, I read there was only one person that walked out on you. I had a few. Rosemary Clooney walked out one time. I says, Rosemary, I said, Ms. Clooney, you know, I saw Man of La Mancha last night with Jose Ferrer. She said, you know, we're not married anymore, Charlie. I said, listen, first of all, my name is not Charlie. And all I wanted to tell you was I didn't know that your ex-husband, Jose Ferrer, was such a good singer. She gets up and walks out. She says, goodbye, Charlie. Walks out. <laughs> Bernard Schwartz. Tony your, Curtis. Your childhood my, friend. My best, closest childhood friend. And the Tony Curtis haircut, which I see you're wearing now, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most famous haircut in the history of the world. You right. love comedy, don't you? Here, right here in Hell's Kitchen, you have Joe Franklin's Comedy Club. Right, which packs them in. Yeah. I've written 23 books now. Yeah. My last book was, well, that's the last one. And the one before that, Up Late with Joe Franklin, right. sold 45,000 copies. And they're all in my house. Yeah. I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> One of my favorite New York comedians is Billy Crystal. But, but in his first book called Absolutely Marvelous, he did say, Billy Crystal did say that he dedicates the book to me, to Joe Franklin, because when he was a kid, his first acting lesson was pretending to be sick so he could stay home and watch the Joe Franklin show. That motivated him to want to be a comedian. So that, that, that was nice. And, and you know what? That's part, of, that's part of your charm, Joe. It absolutely is. You are, a, you are an institution. I should be in one. <laughs> This has been a, a thrill for us, and we love you, Joe. You're Please. the best. You are the best. Invite me back. We will.